Self-centering is important on a car. Self-centering is the effect that happens when we let go of the steering wheel. Going in a straight line, the steering should stay straight ahead and find its centre position. Uh, without that, the car is going to drift about and not feel very well planted at all. Uh, to get self-centering effect, we need to, a caster angle, which is basically an imaginary line drawn between the top and bottom ball joints on the front steering and the position, in fact, uh, in relation of the top to the bottom ball joint as far back as it goes towards the back of the car. This angle is usually something between, say, 5 and uh, 9 degrees on most cars. With a mid-engine car, we tend to need more caster as there's less weight over the front wheels. Introducing more caster can cause problems. It can introduce uh, what we call lockout of the ball joints, uh, where the ball joint itself uh, is limited by the articulation due to the angles. Uh, on this particular car, uh, we're just setting this one up, and it's quite interesting to note that the bottom ball joint appears to be locking out. When I try to position the top wishbone in its correct place with the bolt here, uh, I can feel stiffness coming on and it won't really rotate without forcing it. We don't want that resistance. Interestingly, as I rotate the hub, I can feel the resistance easing off and uh, the bolt hole lines up then on the top wishbone. As I rotate the hub back, it's pulling again and I can feel that resistance. That's basically because we're trying to increase too much caster angle, which again is the angle in relation to the top and bottom ball joint when viewed from this end and uh, more caster would be this position further back. The trouble is this is causing the bottom ball joint to lock out. In this particular car it's quite easy to solve. All we've got to do is rotate the bottom ball joint assembly on the main pin. We'll put a couple of packing washers in the space there and bolt it up later. And just to prove the point, I'll put one washer in, lower that into place like so, and then when we try to locate this wishbone at the top again into its proper place it goes in without binding and we've got full travel there left to right lock on the steering. So if you've got a similar setup it's quite easy to rotate the bottom ball joint. If you find that your top ball joint is locking out, if it's the transit drag link type sometimes these can be rotated but again watch out for caster. Too much might create self-centering that you're looking for but at the risk of the ball joints locking out. Thank you.